Uh, for those buyers who are preparing to buy their first house, what kind of paperwork do they need to provide a lender? So the paperwork today, of course, is it's quite a bit. It's a little daunting for people, even if it's their fifth house. But the general um, generic level to begin with is two recent pay stubs dated within the last 30 days, your last two years of W-2s, your last two years of tax returns, your two most recent bank statements, and a copy of your driver's license and social security card. That's always the beginning point of where we begin. And if you want to do a thorough pre-approval and get pre-approved correctly, you want to turn all of that information in because when you don't, when you don't provide all of the paperwork, sometimes surprises happen. And that's where life kicks in. You know, some people pay child support. Child support is shown typically on pay stubs. If the customer doesn't turn over their pay stubs, then the loan officer or lender might never have seen it. They may not have asked the question about it. They may, it may not have been disclosed. So you wanna turn over all of that paperwork and that's your beginning paperwork. Then you start getting into bankruptcy papers, divorce papers, separation agreements, judgments, back income taxes, things like that. So you start digging deeper with paperwork. And it, it turns into quite a bit of paperwork, but you're applying for the biggest loan of your life and the biggest investment most people ever take 